Yo, what's going on guys? Doug Sesson Martin here. Hope you guys are having a great day and today I want to bring you guys a day in the life in quarantine. Now, I feel that every single day has been almost the exact same routine. I don't know if you guys feel the same way as well, but Marilyn and I have been living together now. Where's it been? What's it been, baby? Two years? It's been 80 years. It feels like it's been 80 years, hasn't it? I mean that in the best way. I mean it in a good way. I mean it, oh, guys. I, this is what happens every single day. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. No, no, I'm being serious. No, I love living with my baby. She gets a little grumpy in the morning sometimes. I have to cheer her up. I'm not a morning person. We said we're going to wake up early today and we're going to film a vlog. And we woke up at 8 a.m., had to let the dogs out. She usually does it, but today I was like, you know what? No, I'm going to let them out. I'm going to feed them. I'm going to let them out. It's freezing out. I'm going to let my baby sleep a little more. Then it was 10 o'clock in the morning. She was still sitting there with a little cat, like, blindfold on, like, Rah. <laughs> I'm not a morning. Person. And I was trying, I was trying to wake her up, and I'm no! like, No! You good, baby? You always do that to my ponytail, and then it gets frizzy. Baby, you look beautiful. No, no one wants a ponytail. frizzy ponytail. She's cute, guys. Anyways, guys, we're gonna go to the gym now. We're gonna do some legs, and I have a really busy day today, guys. If you guys don't know, I'm on a new team in Call of Duty. Every single week, it seems like there's a brand new team I'm joining. All of these teams make roster changes after every single one of these tournaments. I've been on four different teams now, trying to find my best team. This is the best team I've had. Every single week, I get a better team. I don't want to keep making these roster changes, guys. I hope this is the last one for a while. But I got a full day of practice today, starting at two. I I practice from 2 to 9 30 p.m. It's currently 11 o'clock. We're gonna go kill some legs right now. My baby rocking that beautiful white gym shark, those beautiful pink gym shark leggings. This is the drip we got working with today. On leg days, I usually like to wear t shirts because when I do barbell squats, I don't want my rear delts and my back to get all scratched up. So I got this really nice red gym shark t shirt. I got these two in one shorts as well. If you guys want to shop gym shark, we can buy them. What? Baby, ready to go to the gym? Why are you pulling my ponytail? I will fight you. Whoa. I will yeah. She chose violence today, guys. I did. I woke up and I chose violence. All right, so guys, we're in the gym now. We're starting off our leg workout. We're going to do our stretching and our warm up. We got two plates on here. We're going to do two plates for 10. Marilyn's going to test her limits today. She's going to try 25 on each side for a max set. I want to see her get 10. She's super, super flexible. She has really good form. I just saw her do a 10 on each side for 10. I really like what I saw out of her. So I'm going to push my baby today to get 25 on each side for 10. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, I used to be able to get 225 for 10, for 20, for 30 easily, but after having COVID, after going through quarantine, I feel like I'm just trying to get myself back to where I used to be. And I feel like this is a really good start for both of us today. All right guys, so we're gonna do some walking lunges. Four sets of 10, there and back. We got some straight leg deadlifts that we're gonna do, four sets of 10 as well. And then we got some box jumps, four sets of 10. All right guys, next up we got some lunges, super set with some box jumps, super set with some straight leg deadlifts, 10 on everything. Alright, so guys, final part of our leg workout today, we're gonna do some explosive reps. I saw Tyreek Hill, fastest receiver in the NFL, do this. He does three sets of six. So we're gonna do some box jumps just like Tyreek, three sets of six. I can definitely go, definitely go high with that, baby. Yeah? I got hops, baby. You got hops. Here we go, baby, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Last that best set, let's go. Last set, best set, let's go. Come on. Okay. Huh? I see you, LeBron, I see you. 
You keep jumping like that, you're gonna be dunking basketballs before you know it. <laughs> okay guys, it is currently 1.50 p.m. and our post-workout meal is gonna be steamed chicken brown rice with some Frank's Red hot sauce. This is basically what I do every single day after the gym. I try to eat something that's healthy, not too high in calories, and it's also gonna keep me somewhat full for the next few hours because I'm about to lock in and practice for the next seven hours, and I'm gonna need some good nutrition. And I got my baby over here in the back, she's making a shake. Baby, what you got cooking up in that shake? Got some almonds, some oats, some flax seeds, and some dates. I'm plant protein. How your legs feel right now? Let's not talk about it. <laughs> All right, guys, we're starting our second set of scrims right now. We're gonna be playing for two and a half hours. Literally starting the next map right now. We got some other scrims on the screen here. We got some G Fuel, use code sensor. Gonna have 30% off soon. We gotta get into it now, guys. We wired for the next five hours. And we're live on Twitch, too. All right, so guys, I just finished practice and Marilyn had to go to class and she just came back and we have to go to the emergency room now because she has something really, really wrong after this leg workout. So I put her through a ringer of a workout today, I, guys. Well, it wasn't the workout itself. I've pulled my back before, and I know what that feels like. And I thought that that's what happened earlier today. But like, I like pulled. I think my hammy while I was out doing like straight leg lifts, and like I felt it. And then I went to go do a box jump, and I didn't land right. And now like. My pelvis hurts. Your pelvis should not be hurting if you've pulled your back. So I think I need I need something. I can't sit. I can't walk. I can't do shit. Sorry for the language. I, in my opinion, guys, I think I just put her through a crazy workout and she's in pain. <laughs> like, she's just in pain. Like, she's walking like an 80-year-old grandma right now because she could barely move. So she's going to finish eating this Chipotle real quick. It's like 10 o'clock at night. I just finished a long day of practice as well. And we're going to go get x-rays and we'll check in and let you guys know what happens with their x-rays once we get them. All right, so guys, we just got back from the hospital, and it turns out that I'm officially the best trainer in the world because I screwed Marilyn's back up bad, man. To be fair, I actually screwed myself up for having bad form. So let this be a lesson to all. Watch your form. Well, it's weird because Marilyn's really good with form, and like, she could literally do splits. Like, she's super, super flexible. Like, babe, why don't you ever do splits? Like. Do splits on TikTok and I stuff like that. I when I do and when I don't do splits. Like, I do splits when I'm doing my stretching. I'm not gonna, but am I just going to bust it? Yes. Like, every random spot. Yes. Guys, Marilyn, you guys don't know, but Marilyn what is... What does it have to do with working out and hurting myself? Marilyn, like, she but is... If I would have done a split, I would have been okay. <laughs> there's so much about Marilyn that you guys don't even know or don't even have the heft to know about. She's the life of a party. She's the best dancer I've ever been around. She's been incredible in terms of teaching me how to dance because I have no flow. Like I have some, I got, well no, I don't have flow yet, but I have a little bit of flow because of dating her for two years now and being living with her for two years now, I've gotten a lot of flow. She's the best dancer I know and she's super flexible. She could literally put a leg behind her head like it's crazy. Like there's this one bit I remember, the Logan Paul had this like really like stretchable girl and she like went inside a microwave or something like that Like you could be doing that stuff Like I don't know why Marilyn doesn't take advantage of her body in those ways So if you guys want to see her do some really crazy stuff leave a like on this video We, we need to do something together because she could literally do splits She could do like the most crazy stuff So it's weird to me because she's so flexible and I'm so tight just going back to the point I'm so tight and I literally can barely touch my toes but when it comes to form in the gym, I would assume that you do the form so that you don't hurt yourself. And I've never had the best form in my life, but I've also never really hurt myself either. And today during this workout, I noticed it on her squats. She was like really pressing back on her heels instead of just being flat foot. I'm like, babe, you don't have to go so far back. Like you're gonna, you're like, what are you like? Is like gravity like pushing you backwards or something? Like, too. Yeah, I was like, you, she was like leaning too far back and then she was like doing these jumps and she was trying too hard I'm like babe just jump like you're thinking too much into it and I think that's what happened to her today so she got x-rays we don't think she broke anything she has to go get an MRI they didn't break anything they said if anything it was just like my muscle and I will get an MRI if I still have pain for my disc but I think I'm okay I think it was just probably the worst strain I have ever had in the gym and I didn't know what to expect but I'm happy that I'm good yeah, everything's good right now guys. Buddy's happy. Rex is happy. I want to start doing more vlogs and making it fun because 
for this past like year, life has just felt miserable and I don't like that feeling anymore. I'm tired of just letting life pass me by, it seems, and I just wanna take life by the balls again because I'm a go-getter, I'm a hustler, and I work very hard. And although I am working hard every day to be the best that I could be and, and you know do everything that I can, I, I need to do more. And I just don't feel like I'm living up to the expectations I set for myself. So I wanna start doing more, guys. I have an amazing girlfriend, I have amazing animals, I have, you know, this cat right here, he's dope as hell. Like, we got this whole house done, we fixed all the renovations up as you guys saw in the house tour video. I feel, I feel like I basically set myself up now for the future, so I just definitely wanna start making more vlogs again and uh, getting back on camera a lot more and just showing you guys what it's like to live a day in my life. And this is basically a day in the life in quarantine with a little twist at the end going to the hospital, so. <laughs> if you guys wanna see more vlogs with Marilyn and the fam, let me know. Um, if you guys want like iPhone giveaways, I know that's a really big thing with these couples on YouTube, but they do these iPhone giveaways. If you guys want, we'll do, I, I'll give you guys iPhones every day if you guys wanna like the videos and show us some love. We'll no, do iPhone giveaways. No, we giveaways. gotta work for it. We gotta, we gotta set like, we gotta set some numbers, a certain amount of likes or a certain amount of subscribers. You gotta make work for it. Okay, we'll, we'll figure it out, guys. Work. It. Free iPhone giveaway. It's it's, oh, it's AirPod Max giveaway. Those are fire. Ooh. It's 1 a.m. right now, guys. I got practice at two. I'm exhausted. It's Peter Boy, Doug, Cesar, and Marion, and Marilyn, and we're out, guys. Peace.